Are you aware that you can come into Canada, work for two years, and then you can apply to become a permanent resident? It is no longer news that Canada is currently experiencing labor shortages in a lot of occupations right now. And the health sector is not exempted. Canada has a huge aging population. As at 2022, the population size of Canada was about 38 million people. Now, this is a far cry from so many other countries that you know. And this is the reason why they need caregivers. You know, they have a lot of people who are elderly, who are old, so they need people to care for them and they also need people to care for the young ones. So today I'll be showing you two legit companies that are currently recruiting foreign workers for caregiving positions. Follow me through, watch to the very end. I'm going to be giving you step-by-step -step details on how you can find these employers and also reach out to them and get this employment. So guys, moving on to the first company. The first company is called Face Personnel. Now, this is a company that employs foreign workers for, you know, care jobs. Now, the services they offer is for families with children. So they provide services for people with children. So now let's go to their services. You click on services. You see, you click on worker because that's what we're interested in. Caregivers in Canada, caregivers outside of Canada. So let's click on caregivers outside of Canada. Now, it tells you what they are about. Now, face personnel puts everything in place to make your move to Canada a pleasant experience. We provide you with the information that you require and guide you through the process. Our goal is to match your skills and abilities with the requirements and needs of your family to ensure that a positive relationship develops between you and the employer. When you choose to apply through face personnel as a live-in or leave-out caregiver, you are guaranteed that we will work be working on your behalf in accordance with canadian law we do not charge recruitment fees to caregivers guys take note of this they do not charge recruitment fees now how to apply the first thing you want to do is to fill the application form there will be an assessment done on your file they will create an initial interview for you let's go to about face personnel I want us to really understand who they are. So they have 15 years of experience in the marketplace. So they've been doing the recruitment for over for about 15 years now. So you are sure that you are in the right hand. Okay, now, so let's see apply now. Um, worker. And this is application for caregivers outside of Canada. That is, if you are outside of Canada, you choose that. But if you are in Canada, you choose the first one. So the first thing you want to do is fill in your name as it's, it is seen in your passport, your family name at birth, okay, in case you are married and you've gotten a new name, your gender, your citizenship or nationality. Now, this, this part says you need to upload a photo of yourself. So you want to upload a good photo that is clear and can show your face very well. Then you, you have to include your email address as well, your phone number, and if you are referred by, referred by anyone, you put the referral name here and the referral phone number your date of birth, your marital status. Now, if you have kids, you want to indicate it here, okay? Now, if you have a driver's license, you want to indicate it here. Now, for you that you're not in Canada, you want to say, no, you don't have a driver's license. Now, criminal record, you want to include that. Have you ever been arrested? Okay, so you just do this and click on next and you proceed and follow the prompt as it goes, okay? So that's how to go about it. So you keep, you know, filling in your data as you go along. So guys, that's how to apply for their service. Guys, before we continue, if you're getting value from this video, if you're getting value from what I'm sharing today, please click on the like button. Punch the like button. That's one way to support my channel. And that's one way to tell YouTube that this video should go out to much more people. Thank you so much for sticking by. You can go down, scroll down and read more about the company, okay? To so understand who they are and how they work now look at one of the things that made me know that they are very legit they are regulated by the canadian immigration consultant rcic so it is a regulated body so they will not want to you know play hanky panky with you okay there are some testimonials here as well let's click and see what people are saying about them now this is someone who they've helped cindy in montreal qc they really do care about their clients we were referred to face personnel by a friend who had great success with them with a second baby coming, we knew that we would need some living help. Face personnel matched us up with a wonderful nanny who far exceeded our expectations. We saved so much money 
trying to conduct interviews and meet caregivers on her own. She was just what we wanted. The paperwork can be quite confusing and start and the first personnel team helped us through the process by answering all our questions and processing everything appropriately. They really do care about their clients and we highly recommend them to anyone in need of a caregiver. So you saw the part where they said the paperwork can be quite confusing. So it means that this person was helped. They helped this person to bring in nanny from outside the country. Okay. So guys, this is one company that recruits um, caregivers from outside the country. And if you're in Canada as well, they can also help you get a caregiver job in Canada. Now, the next company I'm going to be showing you today is Dovict. Dovict company is also located in Toronto and Toronto is in Canada. Okay, so let's just see what they're about. Now, Dovict Home and Care Healthcare Services, you know, is a temporary staffing agency specializing in the provision of in-home they provide in-home workers, like if you want to live in the employer's house, you can live there. Community health care and support services to children, to youth with behavioral challenges, seniors like aged people, people who are ill, and people with challenging abilities. Our services are geared towards providing freedom of choice, respect, and promoting social inclusion for people with different abilities. We also offer tutoring services to children with different abilities. In addition to these services, we also provide unique house sitting arrangements under our parental relief program. Now, this is what they do. Now, you can also read about their history if you want so that you can know more about them. Now, what are the services they offer? They offer staffing services, helping people to get workers. Okay, they off they also get living caregivers for, for people. So they also train as well. They offer training. So in case you don't have some certifications that might aid you to get a quick job with in caregiving, they can also offer you training. Okay, they also recruit international students, okay, and they also do international job search. Let's try the staffing services first of all, okay, to see what it has for us. Now, this is what they do here. They said advertising, screening, interviewing, reference checks. So they will perform reference checks, requesting certificate of fitness for work professionally. We offer you choices of selected candidates for you to choose from having painstakingly evaluated and selected the best candidate for the position. So in other words, what these people do is they get a lot of candidates that they feel they need caregiving jobs. They do the advertisements, they do the screening, they do the interviewing, they do the reference checks. Okay, they check everything about your background. Then they keep you, if you are a good fit, they keep you on the wait list. Okay, so match you with an employer that needs your service. We can help you recruit for the following positions. Child and youth worker, behavioral worker, mental health worker, Guys, see all the things they do. Community service workers, social workers, personal support workers, registered nurses. So if you're a nurse, you can also use these people to come into Canada. Let's go to living caregiver, okay? Now, for the living caregiver, now, if you want to live in or you want to live out, they do that. So they, we hire locally and internationally. Personal support workers in Canada, there is a shortage of Canadian citizens and permanent residents, guys, can you see, to fill the positions of nannies and living caregivers. The Canadian government has come up with a plan to accommodate this shortage by allowing employers to hire caregivers internationally. So when people come and say this thing is fake, it's not true, it's a lie. Guys, are you seeing it? We at Dovix will like to help you to get all the information you may need. And when the time comes, help you to get the process started. There are many factors that go into hiring an international living caregiver. The caregiver is required to have successfully completed the equivalent of Canadian high school education. Guys, your education is important. You must have at least done your secondary school. You don't need a BSc though, but at least secondary school education should have been done. And at least six months of full-time training. You must have some, some, some sort of training on this job or with relevant experience. So if you don't have a training, at least you must have had a little experience doing any of this job. Employers must ensure that the living caregiver being hired speaks, reads, and understands at least one of Canadians' official language, languages, which is English or French. So you must understand any of these two languages. They offer some certifications that can also aid your, you know, getting the job, you know, on time, like first aid and CPR. I know that a lot of home care support companies here in Canada, they request for the first aid and CPR. It's not a hard certification. It's very easy to pass and it doesn't take time. So let's see how we can apply for the roles, okay? Now, so this is the application for the application form. You want to click what you know position you are looking for. 
you want the PSR. PSR means the personal support worker. You know, um, I don't know what this DSW means, but it's support worker as well. Maybe domestic support worker. RN means registered nurse, you know, our registered practitioner nurse. So all of these things mean something. So you want to click on the one you want, you are interested in. And if you are, what you're interested in is not amongst them, you can click on order. You um, type in your name, you type in your address and your phone number as well. Your email address is required. Then you also enter your date of birth. Now your contact details is very important because that is how they can reach you if they find you fit for the role. The shift preference. You already know that these jobs are run are run in shifts, okay? So you want to indicate whether you want to be working night, morning, during the day, and all of that. Are you eligible to work in Canada? If you're outside of Canada, you are not eligible at this point. So you click on, you, you type no. But if you're in Canada and you have a work permit, you can type yes. So have you ever been convicted of any crime? You want to state that. Are you willing to provide us with a police clearance report? You want to also state that. Now, moving on to your profession and your education, you want to state you want to state the school you went to, the name of the school, the year you graduated. Now, your employment history is what you're going to be putting in this part of the form. Then moving on to certifications. If you have any certifications like the CPR, first aid, you can want to put this here, okay? Professional references, people you want them to contact to confirm that you have this, you know, um, experience and then to confirm your behavior at work. You want to be sure they are putting people you trust and you that can talk about you in a good light, okay? You want to type in your signature here, okay? And then you click on send. That's the last thing you need to do on this part of the form. So guys, that's how to reach out to these employers to get the caregiver job. I hope that this video will help you to land your dream jobs of coming into Canada as a caregiver, you know, and then becoming a permanent resident, which is everyone's final goal. In my next video, I'm going to be walking you through how to apply for the caregiver position through the permanent residency portal. In case you don't want to go through anybody, you want to do it yourself, I'm going to be taking you through the step-by-step -step process of how you can apply for permanent residence and work permits for the caregiver role in my next video. So click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that video when it's out. In case you're not a caregiver and you're looking for recruiters that are also helping people come into Canada through other roles, I did a video on how to find recruiters in two different provinces in Canada. You might want to watch the video next.